And President Joe Biden has called to thank President Bola Tinubu for the release of an executive of Binance Odin's Tigran Gambrian, who was on trial in Nigeria for alleged money laundering and currency speculations. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Yusuf Togato, joined us at the State House in Abuja on Tuesday that the two leaders also discussed areas of partnership and cooperation, including the use of security in Africa and in particular West Africa. Tuga gave details of a 30-minute phone call to President Tinubu from Biden. He said also offered condolence on the recent flooding that has impacted northeastern Nigeria. The minister insisted that due process was followed in the release of the Binance executive. Last week, the Nigerian government dropped charges against the Binance executive after a month of trial for alleged money laundering. Collaboration between the two countries with regards to uh, law enforcement and law enforcement agencies, as well as the release of one of the uh, suspects of the crypt U.S. Uh, sorry, the cryptocurrency uh, exchange company that we're all aware of here. And in response, President Tinubu also thanked him and the US for the partnership and collaboration in numerous areas and also discussed the issue of collaboration with regards to security in, the, in Africa and in particular West Africa. And President Biden equally assured that this is a partnership that will continue. And he stated, as a matter of fact, not more than, not just once, but at least twice, that the future of the world resides in Africa, which is why it was important for this partnership uh, to continue. And the two leaders also discussed the issue of the permanent seats in the United Nations Security Council. And President Biden once again assured that the United States is committed to seeing Africa having two permanent seats and also reiterated that he does not see any reason why one of those seats should not belong to Nigeria.